Don Rickles is here. You ever been to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Don? Uh, once, uh, uh, I, oh, in the service. <laughs> we went through with the shades down. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's a nice area. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, say something nice about the folks down there because okay, they just... Baton, uh... Baton Rouge? <laughs> Kids my Charlotte Rouge. <laughs> no, I, I love it down there. I, I don't plan to work there, but I... Uh... No, it's nice. It really is. I, that part of the country I'm not too familiar with. I've been through there, but I've never worked there. You, do, you used to do college dates and so forth. I never went to college. You went to Ball State. That's right. Now, how did you know I went to Ball well, State Well, because University. you're my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't watch television in the supermarket. We have a set at home, you know. I do watch you. You think I don't, but I do. I really do. Well, 1230 at night when the wife's relaxing in between little club dates, we, uh, we turn you on and I enjoy you. I now, really how, do. how is your wife? She's great. Uh, uh, she wanted to come to the show tonight, but uh, she took a room in Saks. Uh, we just came back from Italy, David. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you don't have to call me sir. Oh, okay. All right. King of all Jews will be enough. Uh, but uh, you make me feel so old, David. I'm sir. sorry. I'm just well, I hope to... you can say sir. George Burns. Indiana Those men thing. deserve all sir. Right. All right, Don. And Call Carson, Don? certainly for you, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, not for me, but, well, yes, for me, sometimes, I would say that. But uh, uh, I must say that uh, we, we just came back from Italy, and the wife, my name on trips, you're not a married guy yet, someday I hope you will be, if that be your wish, I don't know. Are you, do, do you plan to get married, or you just yeah, want no, to just wanna confuse the public? No, I plan to get married. Still lock yourself in your room with the radio on loud? <laughs> David, you really got to do it. It's great. I was 38 years old before I got married. I'm now, I'll be, I'm 57 now. Uh -huh. For a minute there, I thought it was a Keno game. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, if you get a chance, look over here and see how we're doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just sits there in the nude looking at his body. No, it... Anyway, uh, I must say, though, that uh, we went to Italy, and my name on the trip was, so help me, to all of us, my name was, uh, you don't need that. My wife kept buying for us. She bought jewelry, bless her heart. She bought shoes. And I'd say, I think I need a T-shirt. You don't need that. That was my middle name. You don't need that. Yeah. And so we went to Capri. We went to Venice. And uh, the exciting part is my son uh, turned 13, and I, I had him bar mitzvah. Do you know that expression? That's when a Jewish boy becomes of age, uh, becomes a man, so to speak. And we went to the wall in Israel and said all the prayers, and it was great. And uh, uh, Newhart, he wanted oh, to you come. Went, you went with, oh, you didn't go with Bob? No, 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 no because they, they recognize him. They, start, they, they try to pick him off. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I mean, there are Gentiles and Gentiles, but he has the white skin uh -huh. and definitely it doesn't look like... He looks like a Nazi fighter pilot. That's what he <laughs> but Bob and I did visit Israel uh, previous to this, uh -huh. and we had a marvelous time together, and he kept saying, let's go to the birthplace of Jesus, you know, and I kept telling that to the Israeli soldiers, and they kept giggling and laughing. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but I no, said, I let's see the birthplace of Jesus, and we did. They were most kind. The Israeli government was terrific to Bob, and it really, uh, I'm not... As long as we're on that thing, I mean, you, no matter what your faith is, Israel, it, it's a fantastic place. All the holiest places in the world are there, and it's great, you know. Especially for Bob, you know, when he laid on the ground and went, <laughs> You know, and I, I gave him a cookie and he stopped doing that. <laughs> now, that? now, when you travel uh, out of the country, down, do people recognize you? Oh, yes. They don't recognize you? Mm. <laughs> They know me like that. No, I'm amazed. It's not so much the Europeans, as you can well imagine. You know, they, uh, they don't... Television is, you know, uh, unless you have a Dallas or something like that, you're sure. Larry Hagman or what have you, for the lack of another name right now. But uh, <laughs> he, he's my neighbor at the beach. He's, they're going to have him taken away with Paul. Oh, oh yeah. He runs up and down the beach with a big flag going, Have you seen me on Dallas? He's a real. He's completely out of control. Yeah, the man's that's peculiar. Out. Anyway, uh, you know. You know you don't seem like a you don't seem like a beach kind of guy. You go you live at the beach, do you? What is a beach kind of guy like? Like like Will, our uh, guitar player. He he seems our bass player. You, you he seems like a beach, beach? kind of guy. No, but I'm a beach kind of guy. No, but you're a beach kind of guy. You, you, where do you go to the beach out here? Rockaway, Jones it's Beach, been about where? Fifteen years. Huh? It's been about fifteen years. Since I've been here. This is not an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Just asked him a question, and the kid did twenty minutes. See how he gets started. <laughs> I, uh, well, uh, I, I, I go to uh, Malibu. We have a home out in Malibu. Uh -huh. And the beach to me is getting in a big couch, laying there with a little vodka martini and going, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and the wife's answer to that is, you're a crude person, and I'm not going to put up with it, and refuses to leave me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because she's coming into a ton of money when I take the big cab. Oh, don't, now, don't, don't talk like that. Well, I kid about that. Yeah. Death, we must face it. You know, we, <laughs> must, we must face it. I, I know when my time comes, I know I'll get a big turnout. I figure me for about 40 cars. <laughs> I figure you for one wagon and the black kid. Uh, uh, well, at least I'll have you on black kids. Yeah. Um, we got to, uh, we got to, what are we doing? Station identification. We'll be right back. Down with us to be here.